Okay, so the question is on the screen. Okay. Okay. So uh, I can see 16 people have got it right. Um, I can see your chat box. Okay. From next question, you can uh, attempt. Okay. So uh, should I, let me discuss this question first of all, and. Um, so the question is uh, 72. So in this question, if you look at this question, you have to add all the numbers 72 plus 9 plus 28 plus 60. This gives me 169. And when you take square root of 169, it gives me the number over here. So this is equal to 13. Now again here, when you add it, uh, 60 plus 21 is equal to 81. And this gives me root 81 is equal to 9. So what will we do in this question? So we have 48 plus 41, that is 89. 89 plus 23 is 112. 112 plus 32 is equal to 144. And when I take square root of 144, that gives me 12. So answer here is 12. The first answer is correct here. OK, so uh, now let me uh, go to. The question again and let me show you the leaderboard. I want you all to put your own names. I don't know. I don't want these names here. Uh, I uh, please change your names. Put your actual name. Okay, no issues. You do it now. You do it now. No issues. I'm not showing you the second question. Uh, Rohit, was this the first question? Yes. Yeah, so all of you just uh, log out and uh, uh, just close the browser and type the Menti, uh, you know, this thing once again and type the code. Yeah, do as suggested, please. Please log out. Everyone logs out and uh, reload. Reload with your name. We'll wait for two minutes. Come on, quick. Yeah. So all of you done? All done? Yeah. Take your time. Just quickly do it. Yes, anyone wants more time? All, all done? Anyone wants? He will only write or she will write. 
Yeah, Ashlesha, here you're done. Yeah, okay. Anyone wants? Sir, sir just uh, one more minute. Okay, take your time. Quick. And while we are discussing Mac questions, I don't want anyone to discuss any irrelevant this thing here in the chat box. Please focus on the questions. We will we will today um, observe and evaluate who is doing how. So the data is going to be analyzed. So hence, if you are facing any technical glitch, just reload. Okay. If you are totally not able to sort it out, just watch the uh, you know, so solutions. Okay, so no irrelevant discussions about weather and uh, something going wrong and this and that. This is because of this reason you all are you know not scoring well. So hence my request to everyone, do not distract the quiz. There are few serious quiz takers, so let's help them and help yourself as well. Okay, uh, Rohit, you're ready. No, Anik yes. Uh, Aniket done. Yes, sir. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Second question. Analyze it pretty quickly. There are 100 mm -hmm. math questions. Paper one in ATSC, hundred, and you will be given only how much? Two hours. Two hours. To so you can calculate how much time for one question you are getting. And today, last, I given, today I have given more question to you, uh, more time to you because uh, this is the first session, and I don't want to rush you guys. So that's why more time has been given today. And the cutoff last year was around what? I think when this score comes, in. Yes, cutoff. Cutoff was uh, 139 marks last year. No, last year I think it was little uh, more than 150. You are talking about last last year. No, 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 sir. This uh, 2019 it was 139. 2018 it was 153. Ah, uh -huh, yes, correct. Okay, yes. So hence you have to score more than uh, what 70% in each of the papers. Yes. To be safe. Okay, so I've got how many responses? I've got um, nearly, um, six, I mean, I have got 66 responses. Now, let me first discuss this question with you, and uh, um, then I go to, so this is question number two. Now, in this question, uh, the idea behind this question is that number on the opposite sides, have, I'm, I'm sorry, number on the opposite sides of the central box. So, you look at this central box here. So wherever you look uh, uh, i mean if you take this as a reference box this this central box and you look on the opposite side so you look on this side and this side you get one you go here so opposite side is this so minus one minus one you go on this side this is minus two my uh, two and minus two so what would be the number here the number here should be exactly opposite to uh, uh, i mean the opposite numbers are same so this one should be repeated here and the answer here is one so in this question you the reference point was central box and opposite to central box i have similarity so that's why looking at that similarity i'm finding out this value one okay. now uh, let me show you the third question Okay, so here's the leaderboard. Okay, great. The third question is on the screen.
So simple question, if you if you look at it. So I expect a, a, a slightly better result this time. How okay? Looking at the result, uh, how many of you just looked at the first box which was on the left hand corner and gave me the answer? How many of you? Because the first box was, if you look at the first box, the first box was addition of three numbers, and if you could have added those three numbers, I think you could have got the answer. That was something like that. Huh, yes, Laksh, I'm saying that. Some was not the answer. So that is why this kind of question is given where you don't have to look at one box. If you analyze all the boxes, yes. So uh, Aniket, the same thing. The summing was not the answer here. It was given very purposefully because most of the students will look at one box. They'll find it that if you do the sum you will get the answer it was 7 plus 3 plus 4 it gives you 14 and 14 was written over there and that's why that question was given because if you look at that particular question if you look at that particular question so if you add 7 plus 3 plus 10 here so this question was given for that if you add this and if you add this so this gives me 14 and it is exactly wrong logic and that's why so if you look at this go to the second box you add 12 plus 2 plus 4 is it 16 no it is 18 so it means that summation is not the right logic then what is the right logic now if you look at look at this particular question summation as well as subtraction doesn't doesn't matter here uh, now the third thing which I do in this kind of question is to find out uh, what I have is uh, multiplication if I multiply all of this so this gives me 7 into 3 is 21 into 4 84 if I multiply this 18 into 6 is 108 then I have 12 into 8 is 96 and then I have 20 into 9 is 180. Now, if you um, look at this particular number very carefully and try to analyze it, 84 divided by 6 is 14, 108 divided by 6 is 18, 96 divided by, uh, sorry, 84 divided by 6, 14, 108 divided by 6, 18, 96 divided by 6, 16. So it's division by 6. It is. It was visible here only 9 into 2 into 6. And then I have only 9 into 2. So it means division by 6 is there. So this answer would be 180 divided by 6 is 30. So answer would be equal to 30. Hence second option would be correct. So that's the answer. Okay. Now let me go to next question. the leader box coming out to be good okay solve this question
this question is visible actually if you look at the numbers pretty carefully you don't need to touch your pen for this question <laughs> Okay, so this question I have got a very good response. This question was actually easy. Now, before I discuss this question, how many of you uh, identified that? How many of you did some multiplication, some division in this question? I just want to know about the process. No, I, I know what's the right answer. I just want to know about the process. Those who have got it wrong, I'm not saying those who have got it right. Obviously, they have done some multiplication, some division. Those who have got it wrong, uh, nearly 29 people how many of you did some division some multiplication or, or, or something like that so if you have done that then it's primarily this if you look at this particular question it's 7 into 8 is equal to 56 and 5 into 4 is equal to 20 and if you do 56 minus 20 you get 36 so it means that you have to multiply two numbers in the top and then you have to multiply two numbers in the bottom and then you have to find the subtraction of both of them here also when i multiply 9 into 3 i get 27 and then i multiply 5 into 2 and that gives me 10 and 27 minus 10 gives me 17 now what's the number out here the number out here is 8 into 5 that gives me 40 and the number out here is 6 into 3 so that gives me 18 and 40 minus 18 is something like 22 so answer here is second option correct so when you have yeah, Laksh actually uh, you are you are right so when you have a series guys always start with summation subtraction multiplication division these are the two things and then you shift to finding out square square root cube and cube root this is the hierarchy some uh, negative some negative multiplication division square square root cube cube root and then you move ahead with that so these eight processes needs to be need to be done if you are not getting most of the questions would be in in this particular range uh, in, in this particular hierarchy of eight eight things so you can find out answer quickly if you know this hierarchy of eight particular uh, mathematical operations so now great next question is on your screen please solve it it's a very simple question very very simple okay let me check i want uh, this question should be like full answer i mean all of you should get it correct still i am getting uh, how many this was the simplest question possible uh, guys if you look at the question carefully it's 
if you look at the question carefully how many sides are here this is a heptagon it means that seven sides so seven cube is equal to how much 343 how many sides pentagon five sides five cube is equal to how much 125 triangle three sides three cube uh, some quadrilateral uh, maybe uh, uh, a parallelogram four sides four cube 64 how many sides here hexagon six sides so six cube is equal to how much 216 so if you haven't solved this question it means that i want to discuss uh, this this question because i got 13 answers incorrect now those who have got it incorrect uh, first of all one prima facie problem that i can see is because you are not uh, uh, sure about the numbers as soon as i look at the numbers i am writing here cube still uh, 10 uh, for those who still don't remember it please have this somewhere as soon as you look at these numbers you should identify that this is related to cubes so as soon as i saw 343 125 27 and 64 it should be confirmed that the answer has to be one of the cubes now even if you don't know this if you look at the options the question was as simple as if you look at the options because four of them are cube the answer has to be a cube and out of 216 316 117 and 215 there is only one answer which is a cube which is 216 so obvious answer here was 216 so even if you don't realize that this is a heptagon hexagon and, and and pentagon and different geometrical figures with different sides uh, you could have looked at the option please have a habit of looking at the option before you give the answer sometimes looking at the options make you realize that the answer you are taking is wrong those who have got it wrong please write it down quickly please please write it down once you write it down write done Return. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to next question because nobody is saying anything. Fine. Next question is. Very good. Okay, solve this. Very simple question. okay the answer is okay b is the right answer good so this question was to realize okay before i solve this question let me uh, discuss it for those who have got it wrong nearly 28 people so uh, those who have got it wrong uh, this question was to realize that how come a four digit number is giving me a two digit number a four digit number will give me a two digit number only in two three cases and what are those two 
two three cases those two three cases are nothing but you if you look at this question those two three cases are nothing but if you find out square root so if you take square root of 4322 i know this number is more than 3600 so this will be greater than 60 why i am doing this because i want to check whether it is a square root of 48 or not 50 square is 2500 definitely 4322 would not be uh, giving a i mean square root of this number will not be 48 it means that finding out square root is 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 not uh, efficient here now uh, let's discuss about cube root we don't have to go beyond cube root nobody will give you uh, beyond cube root beyond cube root is what um, so i have 12 13 if you if you look at uh, 12 cube 12 cube is 2744 and 13 uh, and, and 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 this number will not give cube also so it, it means sorry cube root also so it means that this number is neither cube root nor uh, square root so then how do you get this number then there is only one possibility which is multiplication or division so multiply these numbers because division also is not possible so if i multiply these numbers 4 into 3 into 2 into 2 that gives me 48 then 4 into 1 into 7 into 2 that gives me 56 and if I multiply 7 into 6 into 1 into 5, what number this will give me? This will give me 210. So answer is what? 210. So if you get from 4 digit number, the obvious logic is from 4 digit number, if you get a 2 digit number or a 3 digit number for that matter, it can only be square root, cube root or, or multiplication or division. In this case, division also was not possible. So the only thing possible was multiplication. So if you remember my hierarchy, the eight eight things summation subtraction multiplication division square square root cube cube root this is the eight process hierarchy that we see in missing numbers or or, or missing uh, characters so if you remember this then probably you will be able to solve it much uh, quickly and and you will get accurate result okay Fine. Now let me go to next question. How oh, fourteen cube is two seven four four. Twelve cube is one seven two eight. okay great so why why this this question was pretty easy why only 10 people have got it right this is this is perplexing for me i mean this question was uh, not that difficult i think and uh, you could have done it now this question uh, if you have this 7 plus 9 is equal to 16 and 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. 16 minus 6 is equal to 10. 
Similarly, you do here 9 plus 3 is equal to 12 and 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. So 12 minus 10 is equal to 2. Answer 1 is correct. How do you, if you, if you do 7 into 4, okay, okay, I understood this logic. I'm coming to that. 7 into 4 minus 9 into 2 also gives you 10. So if you do 9 into 6 minus 3 into 4, this gives you 54 minus 12 that is equal to 44. Now is there any option called 44? So if option is not there, then it, <coughs> it only means that you have to find out some other logic. So that will probably, uh, that would have probably given you who did that. Um, multiplication Rn single so if, if because 42 was not an answer so even if you have right logic if option is not there there is no point discussing it it means that if if if, if you if you are getting a right logic but option is not there you have to search for a different logic altogether so while putting values uh, let me tell you about actual NTSC examination while putting values, you will find two, th two to three questions every year where it will be written two questions where it will be written more than one, one answer correct. Why that happens? Because when as an examiner, you are putting the values, you forget that this is also the option. You just identify a logic, you put few numbers and those numbers are true for different logic also. So you have to look at various options. If you look at the option 44, uh, uh, 40, 42 is not there. So uh, 54 minus 12, 42 is not there. If 42 is not there, it means that different logic has to be applied. So, I mean, uh, if, if you got 42 and if option was not there, better uh, thing was that, okay, in NTSC anyway, no negative marking is there. So it's uh, it can be understood that you can take any answer. But uh, if option is not matching, please search for any other uh, logic. Great. Solve this question. This question is difficult. Great, Aniket. Okay, great. A lot of people. I mean, it's better than my expectation. Yes, very good. Very good, very good. So, if you look at this question, this question was something like this. 1, 31, uh, 3, and then you have. So, uh, what happens here is, you have to think that uh, if you look at these numbers, 31 is 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 a multiple of 2. Then 127 is somewhere near multiple of 2. 7 is somewhere near multiple of 2. It means that and, and if you look at these numbers carefully, so uh, 15 is near multiple of 2. 
uh, and it is one less than multiple of two. Now this number, if 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 you find it here, there is only one number which is one less than multiple of two, which is which is uh, um, sixty three. One less than multiple of two. So alternate numbers are one less than multiple of two. So thirty one. 127 15 if you look at this this is 2 to the power 5 minus 1 this is 2 to the power 7 minus 1 this is 2 to the power 4 minus 1 i have to search for a number alternate numbers if i look look at here so if i search for a number this number has to be 63 because this comes out to be 2 to the power 6 minus 1 so that gives me 63 so this was the logic here so that's how uh, you can you can also say that try to understand that all the numbers are odd numbers and and somewhere near to the uh, multiple of 2 there is only one odd number 63 that all logic will also work out here so this is how uh, this question uh, uh, was to be done i'm happy that uh, uh, more than half the number of people have got it right very good one second yeah just give me a moment solve this question so very very good question till nine whatever number of questions we can solve aniket let me check how many of you find it correct oh very less number of people it was a good question actually um okay so let me discuss this question and uh, to discuss this question what i uh, there is this logic was this logic was uh, difficult to find out i understand that uh if you look at each side there are four numbers on each side this is a pentagon with four numbers on each side now this gives me 17 plus 4 plus 18 plus 11 how much it gives me it gives me 21 plus 18 39 plus 11 50 if you look at these numbers 23 plus 16 um, 80 uh, 39 plus 11 uh, 50 then i have 18 plus 6 plus 23 plus 3 which gives me 50 give me a moment which gives me 50 and uh, so this is 50 this is 50 uh, 31 plus 2 33 plus 17 50 and this is 18 plus 10 um 28 plus 12 40 so this gives me 40 plus 10 is equal to 50 so it means that on each side addition of all the numbers is equal to 50 
and that's why the answer is equal to 10 out here so question was a bit difficult uh, but uh, 10 people got it right that's fine okay Fine. Next question. What do you mean by that, Sisi? But I can't answer. This question is very easy, very, very easy. Oh my God, in this question also, I've got how many? 17 people getting it wrong. Some, okay, I'll let me uh, do a uh, two hours class on this then only I think um, it would be possible to get these things right okay again I'll take a class I've done few questions like this 17 minus 15 is 2 and 5 minus 3 is 2 18 minus 12 is uh, 6 uh, this side is not matching but still I'll go because this side is matching both this at both the places so I will have answers and, and there is an option also. So 35 minus uh, 30 is equal to 5. So answer here is uh, equal to the second correct answer. I mean second option. So 5. So 18 minus 12, 17 minus 15. The vertical answers, uh, vertical numbers are not matching but the horizontal uh, numbers are matching on left and right. So uh, because there is a matching answer which matches with my logic so i am going with this answer which is option two so this question uh, only you have to come had to compare two numbers on the left and right and the vertical numbers have to be ignored okay let me move to another number another question Good quality question, good question. bit of logic and this question can be done Boom. 
Okay, let me check how many of you have done it right. Okay, great. So correct answer is option two, which is 20. And this particular question also was uh, not that difficult. If you look at these numbers on the peripherals, they all these numbers are in multiple of one less than multiple of five. So four is five into one minus uh, uh, one. Five into one minus one is four. Five into two minus one is nine. Five into three minus one is equal to 14. And 5 into 4 minus 1 is equal to 19. Also here, if you look at here, a 9 into 1 minus 1 is 8. Then 9 into 2 minus 1 is 17. 9 into 3 minus 1 is 26. And 9 into 4 minus 1 is equal to 35. So I have 7 into 1 minus 1 is 6. Then I have 7 into 2 minus 1 is equal to 13 and I will have next number 7 into 3 minus 1 that will give me 20. This I, I, I did to explain you. If I could have attempted this question, I could have looked at the number at peripherals and I could have found that 1 less than the multiples. And which multiple? First 4 multiples. 1, 2, 3, 4. So here the third multiple is missing because it is the order is anti-clockwise one uh, sorry clockwise one two three four So I I'll go in the clockwise direction one two three and three is seven into three minus one twenty So that could have been my answer So that's how you you will solve it Okay now, so an option, easier one. Sorry So there's another easier method uh, What is that? So the number to the right minus the number on top is the number inside. Obviously, try to understand because they are multiple multiples. Hence, difference between the multiples, two multiples or two consecutive multiples would be same. So difference here would be five. Difference here would be five. Difference here would be five and difference here. No, sorry. I mean, uh, this is not alternate. So I have to look at, uh, sorry, consecutive only. So if you look at consecutive multiples, the difference would be five because it is a multiple of five. So the same thing I am saying in some other way. Sir, also the top number divided, uh, minor, like subtracted by the bottom number divided by 2. It's the same thing actually. It's, it's, it's the result of the same thing. Because they are multiple of same numbers, uh, multiple of these numbers, so and, 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 and there is certain relationship between them. So that has to be uh, true because top and bottom, bottom numbers are third multiple. So because they are third multiple, so you will have 16 into uh, what, what are you saying? If this is 14 divided by 4, so you are saying divide it and remainder. Is no, no, sir. 14 minus 4 divided by 2. Okay. Similarly, I mean, same thing. 20 minus 6 divided by 7, divided by 2. Why this is coming? This is coming because you are comparing first and the third multiple. So that's why this relation is coming. Your your logics are right. I'm just saying that because they are multiples of five, seven, and nine, so that's why th these these logics are turning out to be correct. So I'm absolutely fine with that. No issues if you have done with that particular logic. Okay, great. Who is this guest? Can you tell me your name, please? Okay, after this question. Simple question. There are so many Adityas.
let me check how many of you remember what we have done in classes Okay, second one is the right answer. Absolutely correct. This was actually later coding. So if you remember the alphabets A from, yes, some of the letters, A to um, Z, we did, uh, so we did from A to Z, A was one, B was two, C was three, D was four, and likewise. So, F is 6 and P is equal to 16. So if you add it, you get 22. G is 7 and N is 14. If you add, you get 21. Similarly, E is J is 10, E is 5. So you get 15. Now, what is K? Uh, so I, uh, J, K, K is 11. So 27 is there. So 27 minus 11 is equal to how much? 16. So I know that P is 16. Answer has to be P. So it was basically alphabet coding. And if you remember how to mark alphabets, this question could have been done pretty easily. Okay. So uh, now let me go to the next question. Let me look at the leaderboard now. Because we are coming to the end of the session. Perhaps this is the last question. Okay, solve this. Remember the hierarchy. If you remember the hierarchy, you will find this. Okay, I am surprised to know that even if I am saying time and again that you remember the hierarchy, I am not getting. Uh, full I mean all of all of you getting it right okay no issues if you add three numbers uh, 7 10 18 23 not giving me 84 the basic hint is here 11 into 11 is 121 then what is this 5 and 2 doing so this particular question is 11 into 11 and uh, give me a moment 11 into 11 and if you multiply 5 and 2 this gives me 10 and divide it by 10 so I get 121 I will check this logic here so I, I, I do 8 into 5 into 7 into 3 divided by 10 so this gives me 2 this gives me 4 I get um, 4 into 3 12 into 7 84 so my logic looks like to be correct the same thing I will do here 6 into 5 into 7 into 2 and divided by 10 so this and this one 6 into 7 is equal to 42 answer is 42 here so this particular question was a hint here because 11 into 11 is 121 so what are these two numbers 5 and 2 doing and because i am doing the multiplication you can't add you can't subtract 
so you multiply and divide if you have to get the same number so this question was good um, okay we will solve one more question and then we will leave so at least one more question so let me now go to the leaderboard quickly okay great next question last question remember the hierarchy Should I finish the quiz? Okay, fine. I will continue. Okay, I'll finish the quiz. Yeah, yeah I'll do. Okay, so 24 people have given me right answer. Very good. Let me be a bit quicker now. Okay. Yeah. What is the hierarchy? Hierarchy, the first thing is summation. Which number should I add? Triangles are there, squares are there, and circles are there. Add numbers in the triangle 18 plus 4, 22 plus 11, 33. Add numbers in the circle because it is full 16 plus 5, 21 plus 12, 33. I got the logic 19 plus 8, 27. 27 plus 6 is 33. So, answer here is 6. This was the logic in the question. So if that's why in the beginning of the question only I said that follow the logic. Follow the hierarchy. Okay. Quickly let me show you the leaderboard and let me go to different question. I am saying that there were three different kinds of um, uh, figures. Triangle. There was circle, there was a square. Add all the numbers in the triangle, you get 33. Add all the numbers in the uh, circle, you get 33. So addition of all the numbers in the square should, should be 33. Two numbers were 19 and 8, so that gives 27. So 6 was left out in the, left, in, in the last one. Okay, solve this. Okay, it's already nine. So those who are uh, those who have something to do, feeling hungry, if you want to leave, you can leave. That's not a problem. You can solve quiz later, and uh, those who want to do the quiz can um, uh, be logged in and and keep on solving it. I'll try to finish it in next 10, 15 minutes. So.
ओके वेरी गुड फाइन सो गुड दिस क्वेश्चन थर्टी सेवन पीपल हैव गॉट इट राइट ओके सो नाउ लेट मी शो यू द आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन नाउ सो वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन फिफ्टी सिक्स प्लस फिफ्टीन गिव्स मी हाउ मच सेवेंटी वन एंड ट्वेंटी टू प्लस एट गिव्स मी थर्टी सेवेंटी वन माइनस थर्टी इज फोर्टी वन सिमिलरली फिफ्टी फाइव माइनस सिक्सटीन हियर इज थर्टी नाइन सो आई हैव थर्टी फोर प्लस इलेवन फोर्टी फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी दैट इल गिव मी ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑप्शन टू इज करेक्ट Add this, add this, and then subtract. This was the logic. Okay. Now let me go to next question. Easy question. Looking at it only, I found out the answer. Easiest question possible. Okay, in this question, there were three numbers. So five ninety four, one ninety eight, and sixty six. If you have those three numbers, five ninety four divided by three is one ninety eight. One ninety eight divided by three is sixty six, and sixty six divided by three is twenty two. So twenty two would be correct answer. You have to start from five ninety four and keep on dividing it. So that's how the question was. So I'm not solving it. It was a very easy question. i am directly going to okay fine next question solve this remember the hierarchy Okay, what's the answer? Okay, so uh, 
fine let me show you the solution of this question so if you look at this question division by 3 you look at this question 4 into 2 minus 1 very simple question 4 into 2 minus 1 is equal to 7 and this 7 into 2 plus 1 is equal to 15 now this 15 into 2 minus 1 is equal to 29 and 29 into 2 minus 1 so you go in clockwise direction starting from here into plus 1 is equal to 59 then 59 into 2 minus 1 is equal to um, I have 117 and this 117 into 2 plus 1 is equal to 235 so I have to do 235 into 2 minus 1 and this gives me 469 as answer so answer here is 469 fourth answer okay so that's the answer here let me go to another question good next question is pretty similar question okay if you look at here in this question we had to multiply the central number to each number and add one so if you get 3 into 5 plus 1 is 16 then 16 into 5 plus 1 is 81 then 81 into 5 plus 1 is 406 then 406 into 5 plus 1 I have to find so this will be 406 into 5 plus 1 that gives me 2031 so that was the logic out here so that's why in the beginning only I said it is almost equivalent of as, as the previous question Okay, solve this. Very simple question. Uh, Aditya Kalaja, you focus on solving question. So then let others solve the question.
okay simple question as far as um, uh, my uh, this thing is concerned yes pretty simple question so uh, if you look at this question Each row A B C is coming once. A B C A B. So, so here C would be there. So all answers are C. And in each column, multiplication of two numbers is equal to multiplication of a number in the middle row. So three into nine is twenty-seven. Four into two should be eight, and sixteen into four is equal to sixty-four. So four into two is how much? Eight. So eight C is the answer. Hence, first option is the answer here. Okay. हेलो हेलो रोहित दिस इज अंकुर हाँ गाइस सो द नेक्स्ट टू क्वेश्चंस विल बी द लाइक फिलिंग अप क्वेश्चंस व्हिच वी हैड एट लास्ट व्हाट आई हैव डन टुडे इज आई हैव शफल्ड बिफोर लाइक ब्रेकिंग द क्लाइमेक्स दैट ओके हु इज द विनर देर आर टू क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर सॉर्ट ऑफ अ फीडबैक सो प्लीज फेस दे� easy moderate or difficult quickly Okay, Roy. Uh, like you can move forward. Next question will come. Okay, the question is on the board. great this question was a bit difficult so i can understand this kind of response now this is the question now question here is the logic here is 5 into uh, uh one second um give me not 5 into 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 so one number from the side and one number from the center so 5 plus 3 is 8 now if i have to go here then one number from from the side and one number from the center so 8 plus 4 is 12 and then one number from the side and one number from the center so 12 plus 1 is equal to 13 so answer here is 8 plus 4 12 so third option is correct few questions would be like this aniket so not all the questions would be uh, that simple if you could have looked at this year's ntse that that is of no use aryan 
if you could have looked at this year ntsc okay so perhaps that's the end of the questions that we have so uh, thank you so much for joining uh, very good luck aryan pranav siddharth aditya sneha aniket shalini shobhita kriti so very good and thank you so much for joining all of you uh, i hope you enjoyed the quiz and um, see you all sometimes uh, next week so thank you so much thank you guys bye very good luck